Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we're going to use these to make the white lady. But first, this. So let's get into it. Now, there's a couple of different origin stories for this drink. Now, the white lady is originally believed to have been created by Harry McElhoun while he was working at London's Cairo Club in 1919. At that time, he used creme de menthe, triple sec, and lemon juice in equal parts. Now, in 1923, he moved to Paris and started Harry's New York Bar, where he then swapped the creme de menthe for gin. The other story is that this cocktail was created by Harry Craddock, and he worked at the American Bar while at the Savoy Hotel in London. Now, he published this in his Savoy cocktail book in 1930. Now, Peter Dorelli, who was a legendary former manager of the American Bar, suggested adding a dash of egg white to this cocktail to help bring all of its components together. But Joe Gilmore, who was another former head barman at the Savoy, said that the White Lady was one of Laurel and Hardy's favorite drinks. But this brings me to Supernatural, the very first episode of the show, where Sam and Dean Winchester, of course, meet the woman in white. Okay, and this is their first case together on the show. And The Woman in White is a folktale, of course, which has many variations. And this is a type of spirit that has been cited all over Mexico and the United States. She is a woman whose husband has been unfaithful in life, and due to this, she suffers temporary insanity and murders her children. But out of guilt, she commits suicide. Now, this curses her spirit to roam waterways and back roads, looking for unfaithful men to kill. So let's get into making The White Lady. And maybe I should have called this the woman in white instead of the white lady, but the white lady is the name for the cocktail. So the first thing, of course, I need is my mixing glass. And of course, for this, I'm going to use gin. I need one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters of gin. I'm using my uh, Muskoka Spirits gin here that's uh, from a local distillery. I also need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils of triple sec. Now the triple sec of course is an orange liqueur. And of course, what we have to do is add his third ingredient. Okay, and his third ingredient of course was lemon juice. All right, so I need three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice again, which is 22 and a half milliliters. Now, we also need a third of an ounce of a simple syrup. Now I'm using a, uh, a one to one simple syrup and that's approximately 10 mils. And that'll help just sort of tighten it up a little bit. But of course we need some egg white. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, we're going to dry shake this. Now normally you would dry shake uh, without ice and then shake with ice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the ice first this time. Okay, and then I'm going to shake the crap out of it and allow it to emulsify afterwards. And this should allow for a better emulsification and you want to shake this really hard. Last time I did this I broke a glass and I'll put that up here. We'll do it that way instead. So what we're going to also do here is we're going to take a coupe glass. And we're going to double strain this in. And 
And now I need a lemon for the garnish. Throw the lemon. Thank you. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a zesting of this lemon and we're gonna do this directly over the drink itself. Give it a little bit of a squirt into the drink. Wrap it around slightly. I'm gonna give this a slight cut and we're gonna put this right there. Look at this. This is the white lady. I probably could have cut it and placed my little orange pith a little bit nicer, but you know what? It's a gorgeous looking cocktail. It smells good. You can smell the lemon coming right at you. Of course, you would do that with this. The gin comes through. It's nice. The floral notes come through. They mix well with the uh, lemon juice and the uh, triple sec. You get that those orange flavors in the background just coming up at you out of the back. The egg whites do a great job of uh, bringing this together and giving you a bit of a, a nice mouth feel. And it holds this drink together nicely. Let me know down in the comments below if you think I should use a different type of gin or a different type of orange liqueur to, just to change the flavors up and see how they feel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the method and the ingredients in the description down to below so you can review them. Tell me what you think. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified. But if you don't like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And we'll see you next time. According to Joe Gilmore, who is another former head barman at the Savoy, the White Lady was, of course, one of the favorite drinks for Laurel and Hot Her The story of this cocktail is that it was created by Harry Craddock, who worked at the American Boy. American Bar. Not Boy. American Bar. Now, of guilt, she commits suicide, and this curses her spirit to roam the waterways and back roads looking for unfaithful men to kill. Unfaithful men to kill and back roads looking for unfamiliar men to kill. Unfaithful, not unfamiliar.